Hello everybody, I thought I'd show you a different process. This is a pot of the melted oils with two squares of dark baker's chocolate. That's about two ounces of chocolate melted into the coconut and uh, olive oil. Right now, I'm going to introduce the lye water that's at 110 degrees to the oils. And you should be able to see the reaction right away. You have to introduce the lye water in a pencil thin drizzle while stirring. Maybe you can't see it right away, but you will as soon as I start using the stick blender. I have a face mask on right now to protect myself from splashes. And there's one of my cats in the background who should be asleep now and not bugging me during this rather dangerous operation. Now, I can't really smell chocolate. I think that for me to get a chocolate scent, I will need to use a chocolate fragrance. Um, unfortunately, there's no such thing as a chocolate essential oil. In that it would be a manufactured scent, I will probably not be using any fragrance oils up on the cupboard. Yes. He's going to make me crazy. Now, there's a little bit of lye water. Never can get the whole thing out. There it goes. Now, as soon as I start using the handheld blender, you'll start to see the uh, this soap batter and uh, lighten up a bit. At least I think it will. I haven't actually done chocolate before. I should look at cats in the windowsill. Big mistake to leave it open. The window open, I mean. Okay. Time to use the blender. The kitchen smells of mint because I put my mint in a container waiting to be poured. Okay, here we go. It's important when you're making soap that you use a combination of blasts from the blender. you want to avoid at all costs is burning out your blender and not using it too, for too long. So I usually do blend, buzz, buzz, and then figure eight with the, with the stick. And I'll tell you, this is pretty dark looking so far. I thought it was going to turn light, but so far it took no, no lightness. In fact, it looks like it's darker. Oh well. Nothing like a dark, yummy chocolate. Okay, this is going to take a while, so rather than have you watch me go through the whole process of turning it this into something that looks like a pudding, I'm going to turn you off and do this in two parts. 
So I'll see you soon. Part two is coming as soon as I get this rubber glove off.